Hey guys, it's Darla here, and I just wanted to hit base with you on what I've been up to for the last couple of months and what I plan on doing in the next few months. First of all, I want to say uh, my logo has been updated. Me and my son kind of worked on a, you know, a new look for it, and I'm really happy with it. And I did put it on my Facebook page, Sugar Made Creations, just to test it out to see how it would look, and it looks really good. Now, Sugar May is my nickname name sugar is from uh, when I was about 13 and May is part of my last name and the elephant is my symbol I just love elephants so that's my uh, logo sugar made creations and we did that because uh, we're also with the help of my son creating a website sorry I get like tongue-tied I don't know why I've created a website for an online store so I can sell um, my products that I do now my website is through Wix W-I-X dot com and uh you know it's a process to to do everything and hopefully i'll have that up and running by march here in the next couple of months and that is going to be mostly to try to think of words here but to uh post my uh thrifted items that i upcycle and vintage items that i may find while i'm out picking and i it's just going to be a little business going on with that i upcycle thrifted or discarded items and um you know my vintage items maybe some antique items on there that's what my online store on my website is mainly going to be of not to say i won't have handmade items on there like my jewelry or clay items or anything i may make from scratch may also be on my website i'm trying to get my website up and running because number one i'm a craft person i've been a craft person all my life and that was one of my dreams was to have have a store to sell my crafts and I've looked at different venues and um over the years you know I've I've still get tongue-tied again but when I first came to Vegas you know I spent a lot of time going to craft shows small craft shows and uh you know selling my wares didn't become rich rich with money but I became rich with knowledge you know on how to what to do and how to prepare and everything so the last um few months I've been preparing for a craft show that I'm going to be doing March 26th at uh, one of the casinos here in town look this is the most i'm going to be paying for a table at one setting i'm excited about it because i know there'll be a lot of foot traffic through there i'm also kind of nervous about it you know because i i've never gone to a big show this is like the biggest show that i'll be a vendor at excuse my hair i just washed it so you know it does what it wants to do uh so getting my website up and running by the time i have my craft show is one of my goals this time at my craft show i i do have business cards i can just put my website on there and uh you know since it is a local casino i'm hoping to connect with local people that you know like my home decor because it's pretty much what it is home decor and then i do jewelry or little things like that that's my big news and that's what i'm going to be doing in the future here for the next two weeks i'm preparing for this show i also wanted to mention my etsy store uh i got my new logo on my etsy store uh i'm checking out all my links and stuff uh because i did have you know i had people tell me before you know you post your item when i go to your store it doesn't take me to your store so i'm getting all my links in place and my etsy store now uh i i don't want people to be nervous about buying on an etsy store etsy store is actually a platform for people like me to sell their wares now the cost to put product on my page that i made or my store because it's my store sugar made creations uh etsy only charges me like i, I don't know it's like 20 cents for like three months i mean it's very a low cost to put your items on there so you could take and it, it they go by pictures too so you could put five pictures of one item that's going to be a dollar that you pay to post that item and so the cost is really minimum but the downside to that is that you get a lot of people that are selling on etsy so the competition is really high now etsy is more handmade items and like that now 
some people sell t-shirts. I've seen vintage items on there, but it's mostly geared to handmade items that people sell. So that's what I'm going to have mostly on my Etsy store is going to be handmade items, my jewelry, uh, clay items. But like I said, it doesn't mean I might take from my online store and showcase it on Etsy or vice versa, because, you know, I'm trying to get platforms to sell my merchandise. And to me, this is the most cost efficient, you know, working out at home. I still got to look into a business license or print permit to actually make product in my home and sell it out of my home. So there's a few legal things I've got to look at too for taxes and, and like that, you know. I know years ago when I looked into it, uh, selling arts and crafts wasn't, you didn't really have to pay that much unless you made a great large amount of money. But I think because a lot of people are crafting and selling their crafts, the states decided, hey, we can make money off of this too. So that's how government runs. But anyway, I I don't mind paying my taxes or paying my share, but that's some stuff I got to look into. So that's my, uh, you know, my updates, my website, updated logo, uh, the craft fair uh, show coming in March. And I just wanted to let you know, uh, remind you about my Etsy store. And I also want to talk uh, just real quick about YouTube. YouTube is another great platform to promote yourself, promote what you're doing, uh, what you're making, or where you're going. Today, my sister retires, and we will be probably doing uh, thrifting vlogs, road trip vlogs, <laughs> because, you know, we're, me and her is just going to start enjoying the last of our days here, have the most fun we can. What better way to do it than to film your adventures? I think that's just a great tool, you know, especially like with me, because I got great grandbabies, and, you know, uh, I like to leave uh, my mark so they could see me and see how I looked and how I sounded or what I did, what I liked, didn't like, you know. It's always nice to have a visual of your uh, ancestors, I think. And uh, hopefully they'll appreciate me doing these little videos and stuff so they can check me out and kind of preserve my legacy. That's all I kind of wanted to let you know. But oh, also on YouTube, I wanted to kind of clear up something. You know, when it says subscribe, I think a lot of people, well, baby boy, Boomers. A lot of baby boomers think it's subscribe, they got to pay. Subscribe on YouTube just means you are interested in that channel. And by being interested in that channel, they may use that tool to show you like channels that you may also like. But it also, uh, when I post a video, it, uh, you know, let you know that, hey, she's posted a video, you know, if you want to go watch it. So that way you kind of keep track of, you know, what I'm doing and everything. It's not, and you can always unsubscribe. You know, you subscribe, you don't like it, then unsubscribe so they, you know, nobody contacts you. But it's just a tool, it's just a platform. And like my son says, the baby boomers are immigrants as far as it comes to computers. We immigrated in. We weren't born into the computer age. And so some of uh, the people in my generation they get nervous about subscription to subscribe or when they have to go to another site and look at something. So if there's ever a problem with any of my sites like that, I'm going to be the first one to know because the site itself, the platform is going to contact me. But I think these are great little platforms. Uh, my website, the Etsy store, and my and the YouTube. These are just great platforms for me to stay connected to my family and friends and to strangers out there. So hopefully you guys, uh, you know, like what you see out there. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, any of my products, any links, please let me know or give me co comments because you guys are my voice out there. You're going to see how things look on that end. And if there's issues, that's the way I can troubleshoot them. So I appreciate your time and I'll see you next time. Bye.